So what you will need is a seam ripper. You will need some pins and needle and thread. Scissors. A 72 inch upholstery zipper. And you'll need this size if you get the um, size that I, the kennel that I got. You'll need a vacuum seal um, space saver bag. Or you can get the ones that don't require a vacuum that you just roll. You'll need, you can't see the whole thing in the camera, but this is a dog kennel. Pop, it's called a pop-up dog um, kennel. Uh, you can get this from Walmart or order it online. Um, I looked up and got mine for like $4 <laughs> um, at Walmart because it was uh, in the wrong spot. So if you already have one, and then if you don't want one this big, I got the one that's for like up to a 70 pound dog. So, like I said, you get the size that you want. And then you'll need some foam. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in on the inside in this black piece that they have to do the hem around one of the mesh sides. You're gonna use your seam ripper to undo that, the whole side. So you're gonna take out this mesh, one of the mesh sides. Okay, so when you're done with the seam ripping, you should have the rim piece and the mesh piece that came out. And then you see you have a big hole. Let's take the zipper find it probably want to start in the middle and what you want to do is create a base stitch around the whole thing before you actually take it to the sewing machine and sew so so I've created the base base stitch which is basically like a very wide stitch going around the whole thing to connect the zipper so it'll be easy to cut once it's ready. So this is what it looks like and you will have um, like it's not enough basically. So you'll have that much left out. I'm going to go ahead and go to the sewing machine. Actually make it permanent and sew around it. Okay, so it's all sewn together now with the permanent stitch. So once you do that, you just gotta take either your seam ripper or some scissors, and then you're gonna go in and just cut your base stitch. So this is it finished, or almost finished. This is with the zipper sewn in all the way around um I, I started out doing it on the sewing machine but it proved a little hectic with my sewing machine so i wound up hand stitching the whole thing and so this is what you're working with now so it just pops up and so now what we're gonna do is that little part We have a guest now. Just so you know. <laughs> so this little part right here kind of looks janky. So we're just gonna add a black piece of fabric here to kind of flap over and cover the zipper ends and this little open area. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Cut this piece to size, then cut it, you know, wide enough. Then you're gonna fold it in half. And then hot dog style and then so you're gonna sew along here and then sew just one end close too so you're just gonna sew in an L and then you're gonna flip it inside out you know roll it inside out and then you're gonna create a top stitch on the opening end and then you're gonna sew it to the top piece this is what we have now as you can see it's here this kind of gives it a more uniform look 
and if you want you can okay so back to um showing you how to collapse it so you fold it and then this is going to be excess at the top and the bottom what you want to do is go ahead and tuck it in the, in the inside unless you are good at when you collapse it and it was already tucked in So just tuck it in a little bit. You want to have one end down, place one hand on one side, kind of turn your hand the opposite way on the top corner, and you kind of push it against your, put that arm over, push it against your body, and turn it. <laughs> As you do it and then kind of compact it, like circle it out some more until it makes a circle. And if you have like those sun visor things that go in your window, you kind of know how to do that. So then get a rubber band, heavy duty rubber band. So that's one loop. So now we can use it as a carry in a, like a backpack or you can put it in your regular luggage okay i uh, went to walmart and got the phone i was suggesting that you get which was this one and it was seven dollars and 88 cents cut it to five and this is what i got and what i did was i folded it into um four squares if that makes sense so i so I could use all of the foam that was in the pack so to have more cushion. It may not seem like it's a lot because I did get the half an inch, but it is like pretty, pretty good, like soft and stuff. And so when I cut it, I cut the corners, you know. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be on the bottom of it. So it have even more more um softness on it if i can get it how i had the first time when i was this is a sheet i like it so i'm gonna use it to cover so basically what i'm gonna do is trace it out um leave an opening for me to stuff it in once i stuff it in i'm gonna close it off so it basically looks like a big pillowcase it's still inside out so i'm just gonna pull it all through Okay, so a lot of tussling and bustling. I didn't want to do it on camera. So I finally got it in there. This is the side that's all like the solid piece. And then my pieces are on the back. The little scraps that I still had to give it some more cushion. And so I put it on this side just to see if it would feel weird or lumpy. And it does, and it's kind of smoothed out. So what I'm going to do now is top stitch it. So basically, I'm just going to fold in. Oh, you couldn't see me. So for the open end, roll it over. And then sew along here to close it off. And then we're going to roll this buddy up, stuff it in the bag, and vacuum it closed. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead, once I sew it up, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the... Now I'm baby bed, and then since he's already sleeping, I'm gonna try to put him in there just so y'all can see how it looks. Um, and with the mattress in it, and then I'll be done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you an idea of something to try that's not as expensive as the ones that are pre-made, and it's way bigger anyway, and it lasts you a little longer. Um, another tip I wanted to um, share with you guys with this one, since it does, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but since it doesn't have any like really stability i guess if he rocks the rolls it, like too far it can tilt over so what i would suggest is putting it in between a bed and a wall or a wall and a couch you know something like that just so it won't roll over safety tip um so yeah i'll come back but pretty much this is it